On the home page, you'll notice there's a calendar icon here. And this calendar icon allows you to see everything going on. So if you were a student and you were enrolled in five different Nucleus classes, clicking here, you would see everything from those five classes that's on the calendars in each one of those classes. So it would all be combined. But as a teacher, if you're going to put something on the calendar for your class, you want to go to your course. So I'm going to go to the Nucleus Workshop. And I want to put something on the calendar. I'm going to go to Calendar Items. And I can go ahead and put in for Thursday the 17th. I'm going to click on that. And the template is empty by default. But what you can do if you want, you can have a text page that's attached to this. Uh, file download page if it's something where the kids are going to submit a file or a page listing. Um, there are going to be more added to this soon. These are just a few to start with. If you leave it empty, it's just an empty page. You can do whatever you want with it. So I'm going to put down here the Nucleus Workshop. And the start date is the 17th. And we're starting at 7.45. So you can use those to scroll over and get your times, or you can actually just type in here. We're going from 7.45 to 10.45. It says add menu item. So if you wanted this page to be on your menu, so when the kids log into class, they see a menu for this, you would click that. But this is not something I want on my menu. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add. So now I have that in here. I know there's some issue with the time. I checked with Chuck to fix that, so that should be taken care of at some point soon. But that's just adding a regular calendar item. Now if we wanted to go in and do something with that, oops, we can go to that page. Now there's a page created for that. So if we go to Pages, there's a Nucleus Workshop page. And if you want to edit that, we can do that and add widgets and change things. And we'll talk about how to do some of that stuff in another one of the videos. But this is something you could easily do to add assignments. So you can add assignments this way. And the page that's created, you can do a few things. If you have videos that go along with that assignment, you can put those on there. If you have a PowerPoint uh, document um, that you want them to download, you have something where they want to submit a file, you can put that. So each one of those pages can be unique when you create an assignment or could be notes, could be anything.